After two school bond measures failed last November, the Hinton Community School District is trying again. The community being asked to approve a physical plant and equipment levy, or PEPL. That levy provides school districts across the state a way to pay for maintenance and repairs. Uh, voters also face a second measure that would raise the district's maximum debt levy, allowing the school board to raise the tax levy from $2.70 per $1,000 to $4.05. However, that debt levy would only go into effect if the PEPL is approved. Normally, districts ask voters to vote on bonds and debt levies during the same election. That can no longer happen, though. Uh, this question cannot be asked simultaneously as a bond referendum in even numbered years. Uh, it's an oddity the legislature added last year when they changed the law on how and when school bond referendums could go to the public. And we'll have results from the measure coming up tomorrow night.